Hello, welcome to Music Geekery Geek Report. Uh, gonna have to be doing a very quick one because we kind of messed up with timings of everything. <laughs> but uh, so this is our day after report of the Devon Townsend gig at the Royal Albert Hall. Uh, so he did a two-day thing um, on the on the 16th and 17th of April, just to give this video a bit of context, uh, we saw the gig on the 17th. Um, so, what were your thoughts? Oh, it was a really, really um, emotional gig. Mm. Um, uh, there were, he played uh, quite a few bits from Ocean Machine. Um, the bit that really hit home for me was um, the sequence towards the end of the gig where he played um, F all the songs from Funeral through Things Beyond Things from Ocean Machine, uh, starting off by dedicating Funeral to anyone who's lost anybody this year, mm. which, yeah, is very... Uh, hit home very much for me, um, having lost people to the situa current situation in Ukraine, and having lost my great uncle just a few weeks ago. Mm. Uh, for me, uh, it was very impactful, just that whole sequence. Mm. Um, uh, before we get into fully into it, um, a very quick shout out to the support act, uh, yeah, Leprous, yeah. who I I did realise during their set I had actually heard a couple of their songs before. Mm. It was one of those hearing the intro to one of their songs, and I had a oh, it's them. Yeah, um, they were a great. Uh, sort of Definitely one of those bands that you go, yeah, this fits with Devin. Yeah, very proggy, um, like, absolutely, like, completely fits with um, Devin's vibe. Yeah. Um, one thing that was a bit curious uh, that our friend Steve pointed out, and we're not entirely sure if this was the case, but it did seem that way, is their set did sound a bit quieter than Devin's. Mm. It's, um, I mean, it's it's potentially the way that they wanted their, like, they were happy with their sound, mm. but then I know it is, uh, a, it is something that has been done on tours before where all the support acts get a slightly quieter sound than the main act to make the main act look bigger. Mm. Um, it's, it's it's something that it's it's a technique that's that's done and it ha and it helps build the hype for the uh, main act yeah. um, in a tour. I mean, it makes sense. It's just yeah, it's, it, it was just a bit of a, a shame that. Uh, that bit of this, it seemed to be a bit too quiet. Yeah. Um, like certain uh, instruments weren't coming through as well. Yeah, I found the cello it, it was iffy. It, it, yeah, like there were bits where it was loud and clear, but there were bits where it did seem to fade into the background. Yeah, and then also there were times where there were parts of the drum that were a bit too um because there, there was this i was almost at times thinking that the drum was a bit of a problem with the sound pickup yeah and it was rather funny because i kept hearing it and sort of like wait that's too rhythmic to be a problem with the sound pickup yeah. but uh yeah um Eight yeah. But yeah, overall a great set from them and definitely going to check out more of their yeah, stuff. Absolutely. It's, uh, yeah, it's, they're certainly going to be a band that I'll be 
listening to when I'm trying to chill out a bit. Mm. Um, but yeah, back to uh, Devin's set. Um, what I found was great with his set is it was emotional f- for both the more impactful songs like Funeral and Death, Death of Music, music <laughs> which is a favourite of both of ours. In fact, that yeah. seems to be a favourite of our group as a whole. Yeah, I th- well, I, th- I think uh, Devin Townsend fans in general, mm. it's a favourite song. Um, yeah, the that was certainly incredibly impactful because, um, uh, as happened uh, as has happened at previous gigs where he's played it, not least um, the Ocean Machine twentieth anniversary show, mm. um, he he gets very emotional singing it yeah. and sometimes it, uh, the emotion overcomes him a bit yeah like he he got a bit ahead of himself during the final refrain and in a way I felt like it worked yeah it's, it's one of those weird things where a mistake actually grants gravitas to the proceedings mm. Um, we're going to have to wrap up very quickly Uh, suffice to say the other thing that was very cool was there was a lot of comedy going on and that's always replete in his gigs but it was especially great here especially during Bad Devil check that out when you've got a chance probably do a follow-up in some form later, so watch this space. Bye for now.